Looking into a P1 fault, the most likely reason for this is the system is looking for a TH1 thermistor which has not been fitted. Things to go through, make sure it's in the correct mode, there's a separate video on to making sure the system is in the correct mode, so do you need it in auto adaptive, do you need it in weather compensation, or are you looking at fixed flow temperature? In this situation, if you've got a P1 fault, you're looking at auto adaptive. So the other reason this might have happened is if the control has been reset for any reason, it's therefore lost whereabouts it's going to be taking its temperature from. So I'm going to take you through how to do this. So first thing you'll notice on there is we're going to the menu button and we're going to go across to initial settings and we're going to scroll away down until you get to room sensor setting down to sensor setting again, sensor setting again, and you see here it's set to TH1. I actually want to take the temperature in this situation from the main RC, but you may also have wireless controls on there, so you can set that if you want to. So I'll saying this one to main RC. Give that a tick. When I come back out to that front screen, so keep pressing the back button until I get back to that front screen. So click on the menu button, go into heating, and set that to auto adaptive. Come back out, and there you'll notice when I change the actual room temperature. So I set, for example, here 22 degrees. See up there, it's highlighted up there. It's actually saying it's seeing a temperature at this moment in time of 24 degrees. So that's just telling me that's all set correctly, and your P1 fault should now have disappeared. If this has not solved your problem, and you're still coming up with a P1 fault, please do get in touch with the after sales team, and we'll go through some alternative ideas.